everybody, good morning, and welcome to the Christocentric Meal, a daily reflection of your true identity in Christ Jesus. And it's been such a wonderful time sharing fellowship with you every day on this platform as together we look into God's mind as revealed in the Holy Scriptures. And today we want you to invite friends and loved ones, family members, as we get into this very important discourse from the Word of God. Co-hosting with me this morning is my wife, Rachel Damina. Honey, good morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. Amen. Amen. We're glad to have all of you. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We bless, we honor, we glorify the name of Jesus. And we thank you because in that name, we have all that he owns. Hmm. And so this morning, we have access into the knowledge of all of our realities in Christ Jesus. Thank you for revealed knowledge. Thank you for strength in the inner man. Thank you for the privilege to learn and to be equipped. And thank you for a great day ahead of us today. Thank you for the blessings that we have in Christ. We're justified. We're accepted in the beloved. We were predestined before the foundation of the world. Our sins are eternally forgiven. And we thank you, Lord, that we've received the adoption of children in Christ Jesus. So today we rejoice and we thank you for Hallelujah. the joy of salvation that is available to us. Yes. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen and amen. We've been dealing with ministry and we've been talking about ministry and um, the call to ministry which every believer has received at the point of salvation. And we took time to deal with a number of things yesterday that the ministry becomes a priority in the life of every believer. Oh, yeah. Because Jesus is Lord over your life. Mm -hmm. Therefore, his instructions you must obey as priority. Mm -hmm. Every other thing becomes an interruption. The main thing now is Jesus and his mission on the earth. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to continue from Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Read for us on. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. In the work of ministry, we present ourselves a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Every believer. The moment you are born again and you receive the call of God to salvation and to ministry, the next thing is you begin to present yourself a living sacrifice. Observe Peter's description of Jesus' sacrifice for us. Jesus' sacrifice for us. Because he cannot ask us to do what he has not done for us. Mm. So let's see what his sacrifice for us was in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21 to 23. Mm. For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. That's right. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. He says, you we are called, okay, because mm. Christ also suffered for us, mm -hmm. leaving us an, an example, example that you should follow in his in steps. His steps. So if he gave himself as a sacrificial lamb on our behalf, we ought to give ourselves as a living sacrifice, as a living sacrifice for the assignment of the ministry. Mm. You see that? When he was reviled, he reviled not again, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. Oh, yes. In Romans 8, 32 and 33. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his sharer, so he opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. He did not complain, talking about Jesus. Yes. He didn't complain. His mouth was dumb. He didn't, comp he didn't argue. He didn't argue. He willingly gave up himself oh. to die for us. Thank you, Jesus. He laid aside his privileges. Everything that makes him God, he removed it mm. and took the cross for us. In service also, mm. we lay down our natural disposition. Yes. You know, our natural disposition. The milking cow mm. in the book of First Samuel did so. You know, the milking cow. First Samuel chapter 6, verse 12. Talking about the milking cow. And the cow. kind took 
the straight way to the uh, way of Bat Shemesh. Yes. Bat Shemesh. And went along the highway, lowing as they went, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them unto the border of Bet Shemesh. The natural instinct of a milking cow yeah. is to feed her calves. Uh, That's a natural instinct of yes. a milking cow. Yeah. But on carrying the Ark of the Covenant, mm. she went straight to Beth, Beth Shemesh. Shemesh. Mm. She went straight there, mm. you know. So, no distraction. Mm -hmm. Even though the calves were there, yeah. she didn't focus on them. That's what we're her, saying her yesterday. Her focus yes, was on the main mission, assignment, mission, yes. the cause. That the, the ministry becomes the main thing in your life. Yes. Because the ministry is so honorable, honey. This is what Jesus died for. Mm. This is what God became God a man came for. Down for. This is the whole purpose of and God's God eternal owns plan. Owns the earth. And then now, after all of that, he now takes it and hands it, to and hands it over to you Take care. on his and behalf. Take care. What? You, you don't joke with you that. That is the highest honor anybody can ever have. Whoa. And it's a, it's a huge responsibility to and every born honor. again believer, mm. except you're not born of God. Mm. Except you're not born of God, the ministry. So the lion in the den, in, lion, in Daniel's case, did not do any differently. Mm -hmm. In Daniel's case. Yes, in yes. Daniel chapter 6, <laughs> verse 22. Even the lions Lion. in Daniel 6.22, just like the milking cow, yes. you know, wow. ignored her calves for the purpose of the, the assignment. Of the assignment. Yes. Remember, we've been dealing with living our lives as a living sacrifice. Yes. Daniel 6.22. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouths that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. If an animal could choose to serve, <laughs> how much more a believer? <laughs> because well, the moment the animals saw the angels, mm, they closed their mouth. Closed their mouth. And they left Daniel alive. They served God's purpose to keep Daniel alive. They served God's purpose. Mm. Instead of hurting him, they protected Protect. him. <laughs> to serve God's purpose against their hunger. Yes, yes. Because lions don't see. Yes. They don't they give up. They didn't put themselves first. No, 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 they they don't. don't give up their meals. Yes, they don't. But in Daniel's case, Whoa. when they discovered Remember, was, and they brought Daniel at meal time. Yes. Because you don't give food to, uh, uh, to lions when they're not hungry. No, no. They brought the Daniel to him at yes. their meal time. Yes. Hmm. And the animal chose, yes. The, uh, yes. you know, to serve. They could not, yes. How much more a believer? We, Every time you're that asked that to evangelize, you're asked to do things for the you kingdom. Escape. You're full of excuses and mm -hmm. escapes, useless talks which shows that you have not understood have, what it means to be born again. Question. And you have not understood what it means to have Jesus as the Lord of oh, your life. Lord of your life. Because if you have understood what a Lord is mm. and who a Lord is, you it's like your it. landlord. Yeah. He says, do not put poster on this building. You yeah. have to obey if you want to live there. Straight. Now, Jesus is your life Lord. He's the owner of your life. <laughs> he owns so, you. And he says, this is what to do. He owns you. You know, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 to 13. Mm. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And many people, that's where they stop. Yes. Oh, yes. walk out your salvation. And walk they out say, your you know, salvation. after you are saved, you have to they do something. Out. But he, he didn't say walk for your salvation. Yes. He said walk out. That means it's already in. Mm. You can't walk out what is not in. So salvation is already in. You don't mm. walk for your salvation. You don't walk for it. You walk, walk out your salvation. And mm. even in walking it out, verse 13. Mm. For it is God which walketh in you, both to do and to do of his good pleasure. So since we are made for good works, mm -hmm. where is work? God, Manship. Yes. Created in, in Christ, Christ Jesus good unto good works, mm. which God before ordained that we should walk in. Ephesians chapter 2, plan. verse 10. Mm. All right? So God works in us mm. to do his, his will, will. Mm. and his will are those good works. Good works, good works of evangelism, mm. soul winning, mm -hmm. discipleship, mm. giving for the cause of mm. Christ, yes. living right. Yes. All those are the good works which God ordained that we should walk yes. in. And, and because obedient. that is God's ordination, we, we are, are obedient. obedient. We obey him. We yield to him. Yes, we yield Lord. completely. Mm. We yield to our Lord. He's walking in us, so we yield. We yield to his walkings. Mm -hmm. In First Peter like 1 Peter 1.14. Like mm. No, no. <laughs> We yield. we yield. That's why he calls us sheep. Yes. He doesn't call us goods. goods. He calls us sheep. Oh, oh, Sheeps obey shepherds. Ah, sheep in, in 1 Peter 1.14. Mm -hmm. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former loss in your ignorance. 
as obedient children. children. We are obedient children. Yes. He calls us that. That's yes. who we are. The Father's will has become ours. Mm. His will is our will. Mm. So what is the will of the Father? Yes. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. So his will is our will. Mm -hmm. He wills all men to be saved. Mm. We too, our will is to have, to have all, all men, all men saved. saved. And our will is to see them come to the knowledge of the truth. That is where discipleship comes. comes in. His will is our will right now. And we must see to it that we fulfill our ministries. Every believer, every child of God watching this, we must see to it that whatever it takes, we fulfill the ministry of reconciling the world to Christ, to which we have received from him. Mm. In Colossians chapter 4, verse 17. And say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. Take heed to that ministry, that ministry of reconciliation. That word of reconciliation, the assignment to disciple nations, to preach the gospel to every creature, you take heed to that ministry mm -hmm. which you have received in the Lord. Oh, yes. See to it that you fulfill it. Mm -hmm. Brother Paul will say in 2 Timothy 4 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Every believer has a cause. Mm -hmm. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Mm. That means in ministry there is a fight. Mm -hmm. You fight against your own desires that stand in that the way. Come to you conflict. fight against distractions mm. that come from different situations of life. Mm. You fight, you fight. He said, I have fought a good fight. You don't just sit down and do that and say, I want to do this ministry. God should just make help me. Mm. No, you stand up and begin to do it. It took and a decision. Yes, mm. and, and you fight. You fight. You strive. Mm. You do strive everything you you. You, you need you to do, turn, yes. to do the ministry. Mm. You get in there. You may not feel like it. It's not a feeling. Mm. You get to do it because it's an instruction by your Lord and you are, you are an obedient child. Yes. You know, we must be found faithful. Yes. You say, I have fought the good fight. Mm. I have finished my course and look at the reward. Yes. Henceforth, it's, it's laid, laid up for me a, a crown, crown of righteousness. That's the reward. Right That's the reward. Me. We must be found faithful in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. It is required. It's a requirement. Mm. The word stewards there has the idea of someone who is in charge of something. something an, overseer. an overseer. Okay? The gospel has been committed to our charge. We should be faithful with it. Hallelujah. That gospel given to you are the overseer of that gospel. Mm. You must be found faithful. Let a man so account of us. Yes. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, see the way Brother Paul would charge Timothy. Oh, yes. And the things which thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Commit to faithful men. And all of you watching this broadcast, we declare you faithful Come men. Up, faithful women. Receive the because commitment. Because we are to commit to faithful men. Mm. The things... We know. And those faithful men are to commit the same to others. Oh, yes. Don't try to improve on it. Mm -hmm. Don't try to make it sound you nice. Have received it, no, as the you same have way we are giving it. it to you right here Teach is the way you give it to other to people. people. It's so easy. Don't sugarcoat Our Christianity is apostolic. Mm. What we receive, we give to you. Mm. You give to, give to others. others. And oh, others give, give to give others. To it's others. as easy as ABC. Not there are no complications, no ambiguity here. He says, the things you have received or had, the same commit to faithful men. Mm -hmm. More responsibility comes when we are found faithful. Mm. Faithfulness is also the fruit of our, our spirit. spirit yes. We are faithful people. Yes, we are faithful people. We are faithful people. That's our nature. In That's our who spirit. we are. In, because That's in Galatians 5.22, look at it. Is but there. the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. And the word faith there refers to faithfulness. faithfulness yes. We can be found be faithful, faithful to yeah, fulfill no, our ministries. Yes. Every one of us, believers, men of God, women of God, the work of ministry should be taken as a privilege. It is actually a privilege it to is. serve. You know, it is. Because it because was bestowed on us by grace. By grace. It's not because you're not because you are noble. Dynamic, or powerful. Too big. You say he has not chosen wise, yeah. noble. Not many noble or mighty. He, he has not chosen us the foolish things mm. of this world to confound the wise. Mm. So it's a privilege. Who are wise in their eyes. Yes, it's a privilege. 
to be used by God. Mm. You know the donkey that rode Jesus to Jerusalem? Mm. People were dropping things on the mm. ground, jewelry, gold, mm. because when you see Jesus... And their clothes. And then the donkey will be stupid to think, think it's me. that it's because that of the, the donkey that they're dropping those things. It's because of Jesus. The honor we get for ministry and all that we do is all because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the reason for it all. All the respect and everything is because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know. So um, the work of ministry was bestowed on us by grace. Mm. Observe Brother Paul's boastings, mm -hmm. because Paul boasted. Yes. But look at how he boasted. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. I am what I am mm. by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Ministry every labor, everything I have done in the ministry is all grace at work. Mm -hmm. But he said, I didn't, I didn't just say grace. Mm. I labored. Yes, yes. I labored. Yes. I went out for evangelism. Mm -hmm. I got involved with the work of Hallelujah. ministry. I went out to disciple believers. Mm. I took up a family and began to disciple them. Mm. He said, but yet it is not just I walking. It is grace walking through mm -hmm. me. I labored. So there's a place of labor. For labor. Yes. yes, there's a place for labor. Yes. There's a place for doing the work. Yes. There's a place for service. It's like some people tell somebody, ah, you have the grace. Every one of us have Every the grace. Every believer has been given So you grace. labor in that grace. That's right. Yes, that's, that's right. what the reward is. You labor in the grace. grace. You labor in, in the, the grace. grace. Steadfastly, mm. you labor in the grace. Because Brother it's Paul, service. Yeah, it mm. is. Brother Paul never boasted on himself. Mm -mm. All his boast was on the grace of God. Yes. All he has achieved is grace. Yes. If you look at it in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 1 to 3. Yes. We did, because you see, that's why you do not receive the grace in vain. No, you don't. Receiving grace doesn't mean you go to sleep before the night. No, you, no. Re you receive it to achieve something. To do something. Yes. And that is service. That's ministry. Save men, yes. Ministry, service. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. Don't be a waster of grace. <laughs> don't be a waster. We are not wasters of hey. grace. You know that word, waster of mm. grace. You have not received the grace of God yes. in vain. Yeah. Don't just sit down idly and say, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bench, bench warmer. Mm. Or I'm, I'm a floor member. Yeah. Well, what is floor? <laughs> floor member where? You are a kingdom citizen. Uh, you are, don't receive the grace of God in, in vain. vain. Next verse. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Then number three, verse three now. Yes. Giving no offense in anything. That the ministry be not blamed. Don't give offense in anything. Mm, as ministers of God. Yes. See that? But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God. Exactly. In much patience, in afflictions, I'm in getting, necessities. I'm okay. getting <laughs> yes. Oh, Ooh, true. Like we must not take this ministry for soto. vain. Yes. Because it is the grace of God. Yes. Don't take it for vain. Mm. Don't take it for yeah, vain. Take it in vain. It is the grace of God. Mm. You know, don't take it for vain. Idle things. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. It is grace at work. And this grace was paid for by somebody. Mm. This grace is not free. It's not free. Even though we received it free. Really? But, but it, it wasn't made available somebody. free. Mm. Somebody died mm. to make this grace it available. Because somebody's life. Somebody died. In fact, somebody not just somebody. Worship. God mm. himself died <laughs> to make this grace available to us. Give up there will be contrary winds in the work of the ministry. Mm. Trials, tribulations, persecutions, but those things should drive us deeper. Mm. Second Corinthians 6, 4. Oh, yes. Read but in us. all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses. That is how we approve ourselves. Mm. We approve ourselves in ministry. Mm. When we are True. patient, in yes. spite of what is happening, yes. we are still doing ministry. Yes. When we are afflicted, mm. you know, and we are still doing the ministry, in and out of season. Mm. I remember times where I had to preach the gospel under severe malaria, mm. severe fever. My temperature is so high, mm. but I have a commitment to preach. So I put my feelings aside and I do what I've got to do. Mm. That's approving myself as a minister. Sometimes in hunger, you're so hungry, mm. but you have to preach the gospel. Sometimes you stand up, you're feeling so weak. Mm. But you have to preach duty calls. It, that is what Brother Paul calls approving ourselves as ministers of God, mm. in much patience. In Take note of that, in much patience. Mm -hmm. In afflictions, in necessities, 
In distress. In distresses. When you are distressed, you are so uncomfortable. But you still have to get the gospel done. You know, sure. you have to preach the gospel. I always marvel at you those times. We, we've been in, in situations where we entered a car, a truck, to go and preach a crusade. And the truck was packed with pepper. And we didn't have money for any other form of transportation. No, beginning so time. we sat with the pepper and we coughed for hours. <laughs> you know what to be like locked in a room with pepper? <laughs> we were coughing for hours. Coughing and coughing as if we had tuberculosis. <laughs> on arrival, we had to preach. Because you acquired some. <laughs> <laughs> we had to preach on arrival. <laughs> Things we've been through. We've been through hunger. <laughs> you know, in this, our city where we are, a mm -hmm. few years ago, a group of pastors came together and said that since I am preaching the message of the finished work of Christ <laughs> and the grace of God, dead. I'm going to spoil all their market <laughs> and spoil all their business. That they should team up and announce that I am dead, <laughs> that I have died. Oh, and these are over 200 of them. <laughs> so they came out and, and started and announcing it everywhere, uh, yes. both on social media, everywhere. newspaper. It's I mean, it, it was people. everywhere, sending it to people. And people were even calling, calling us. From they were calling places, some, so a lady even called you from London. I was crying mm. that she heard I'm dead. I said, and I was okay, just coming from the program. <laughs> I was driving from where I went to preach. <laughs> this is called afflictions. Mm. We suffer all of these the things because of the stress. gospel. But in spite of that, I didn't stop. Mm. People say I should go on TV and radio and make a disclaimer. I said, what? for what? That's mm. giving them relevance. <laughs> we stayed with the call. Mm. We kept teaching and preaching. Until eventually they themselves started coming to say, ah, we thank God for you, so you're still alive. <laughs> you see, mockery now. So you're still alive. And some of them will look at me and say, oh, Another God is faithful. They say, oh, they say he was so sick and died. And some now said, okay, back. let them not say he's dead. Yeah, Since they, people have known that I'm not dead. They now say he was severely <laughs> sick. He was but, sick, mm, very sick. Mm. And all of those speculations, Sorry. afflictions, speculations, blackmail, evil rumors, rumors all kinds of things for this cause, for Fightful this message, rumors. you know, for this message, disdain, mockery, insults. Mm. But brother Paul says that is how we approve mm. ourselves. Some of you, somebody just said something against you, you walk away and leave the church. You quit. And some of you, somebody just stepped on your toe. I will not, I will yeah, not, I will not be a minister. Fact, I am big, not a minister. Take your department. Mm -hmm. I will serve. What's uh, wrong with you? That means you're not it. You've not understood Christ. You are far from Christ. Oh, Lord. Maybe you're not doing it for Christ. Yes, you're doing it for because you've been told if you do, you will get breakthrough. Uh -huh. So you're doing it for the breakthrough mm -hmm. or for the money you think mm -hmm. you will get for mm -hmm. serving. No. Whoa. We are approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience, mm. in afflictions, in, in necessities, in, distress. in distresses. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, we must ensure that we abound and increase in our service to the Lord. Amen. When people start afflicting or, or persecuting us, hmm. that is when we should double our work. Effort, yes. when, people are at, when things are not convenient, you preach in and out of season. I have trekked to go and preach. Mm -hmm. Trekked for days. Yes. You didn't hear that. <laughs> I have trekked for days. Mm -hmm. Those of you who understand Nigeria very well, I have trekked from just to Gombe. Sure. Just to Gombe. That's like, hmm. with a you would drive it. With a hours. car, you drive from just to Gombe. It's close to four or five hours of driving. Mm -hmm. I have trekked, slept by the road to get there to preach. Mm -hmm. Approving myself as a minister. That's why when people think we're in ministry for money or mm. things, they don't know who we what are. What they're talking about. They don't know where we have come they, from. They think it's the modern day people who just go in. No, 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 no. To, to, We've to, been preaching the gospel relevant. for close to 40 decades. Oh, close four, four decades. I mean, four decades. Mm. Four decades, sorry. Mm. For close to four decades of preaching, mm. not born again, mm. not speaking in tongues. <laughs> so it's, it, we've been on this, laboring, approving ourselves as the ministers of God. Mm. And so we must increase our service when persecution and affliction arises. In 1 Corinthians 15, 58, see what Brother Paul will say to the brethren. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor you is not in vain so be unmovable. in the Lord. Be mm. unmovable. Always abounding in and out no of season. What. You have money, you don't have money, you are happy, you are not happy. Somebody insulted you, somebody did not insult in you. Always sense. abounding in the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For as much as you know, knowledge. Mm -hmm. 
Once you know that, that this I'm doing to the Lord, Lord yeah, once you know that this service is to the Lord, is not in vain even if the, the person receiving it is not appreciated, it. the you Lord who I'm doing it, it for mm. is the one that That's I'm doing it for. Yes. And even if the Lord doesn't appreciate it, <laughs> what he has done for me is more, than, more enough. than enough. But God is not but an God, ingrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He appreciates Very every, say, every Very level, well. every service. So be resilient, be committed, be dedicated, be, be dogged. In the service of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Evangelize. Good Win souls. In and out of season. Yes. You will not be weary. Amen. You will not be weak. Honey, pray for our viewers. Mm. That those that have been distracted will come back to the ministry. Those that were discouraged, those that were abused and hurt, they will come back to the ministry. And those that are weak will be encouraged and fired up today. Those of you who have been discouraged, we command peace, healing, and restoration right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, be called back. Be restored. Lord, be healed, be made whole, be restored, be, be healed, be made whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, Catherine Coleman told this story. She said she, because she had an issue with her marriage, mm. okay, they were separated with her yes, husband. Yes. So she left the ministry mm. because nobody, she thought nobody would listen we'll to listen her again. And she said one day she was walking on the streets in California and the Lord said to her, Catherine, what are you doing here? <laughs> she said, so she turned on, it was God speaking, speaking to her. To her. So she said, uh, Lord, what do you mean? He said, because right now you should be in a crusade mm. somewhere. What are you doing here? So she said, well, Lord, my husband and I got divorced. Mm. I didn't so think I'm anybody would listen to me. She said, is, so was it your husband that, that called you? I called. I, I gave you the ministry. Mm -hmm. And that ministry is still in you. Mm. And people are waiting for that ministry. Oh, yes. And that's how she got back to ministry mm. and had the best days of her life in ministry. in ministry. The call of God and the gift of God in your life is without repentance. Amen. God does not change his mind. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to fast and pray mm. for God to accept you. Yes. You're already in an acceptable position. position. In spite of what accepted. mistakes you have made, you all you need accepted. to do is quickly, quickly, acknowledge what Christ has done. Rise up strong. In that strength. Strengthen with might. Mm. And go do Strengthen what you need to yes. You know, the, the Lord said to Gideon, I don't know why I'm speaking this to somebody today. Gideon said to God, I cannot do the ministry. Mm -hmm. I am the least in my father's house. Mm. And my father's house is the least in my village. Mm -hmm. I don't have what it takes. God didn't answer all those excuses. Mm -hmm. God looked at him by the angel yeah. and said, go in this your mind. He didn't answer. He just instructed him further. Go in this your mind. So today we speak to you wherever you're watching. There is might locked up on your inside. Oh, yes. Go in this, this your, your mind. mind and do what you need to do for the purpose of salvation. And we decree and declare over you today, mm -hmm. every voice of discouragement, every cloud around you, oh, yes. and every group of people that have spoken to, to discredit you of ministry, mm. I command their tongues condemned, Amen. their words rendered useless. useless. We release you today oh, yes. in the name of mm. Jesus. Amen. Fresh grace, oh, fresh yes. understanding, oh, yes. fresh knowledge, and do that ministry yes. than you've ever done before. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we command you to abound in the work of the Lord. Yes. Bedago, Lakora, mm. Tokiba, Nakita, Monade, Kesika, Barika, Tonada. Abound in the work of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we thank you for today. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We'd like to hear from you today, especially those of you that want to be a part of our campus or you want to be a part of what we're doing around the world. Shoot us a mail today. We want to really hear from you today. I want to encourage you. You know, the email address is on the screen. It's drabeldaminatiahu.com. Mm. We'll be glad to hear from you. Yes. Or those of you that don't belong to any local church, the email address is also there. If you email Tell us, us we will yourself. connect you to our campus, yes. any of our campus nearest to where you are. Mm -hmm. Order for the book. This book, you can't do without. It's, it's powerful. It will help you a lot. And for the resources that this ministry provides Confession. for your spiritual edification. And just before we go, mm. honey, lead us in the confession. I remain faithful to fulfill my ministry. I remain faithful to fulfill my ministry. I do not take for granted the ministry I have received from my Lord Jesus Christ. I do not take for granted the ministry I have received from my Lord Jesus Christ. I do not lay back. I do not lay back. I choose to increase and always increase. I choose to increase and, and always increase. increase. Glory Hallelujah. To Jesus. The announcer Amen. will tell you how to order for all oh, the resources. Yes. But just before we go, honey, one Jesus. more word for our viewers. Yes, so remain faithful to the call of ministry on your life. Amen. 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 And you stay in it in and out of season, in and out, dogged, mm. until we flood the earth with the fragrance of the grace of God. 
Till we come again your way tomorrow. This mm. is Rachel Damina, Abel Damina, say that, that the, the kingdom, kingdom of God, God is, is in power. power. Amen. Amen. Hello. I hope you have been blessed by that wonderful message. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. For you to grow spiritually, you need to hear, study, and meditate on the word. You need to not only hear, but to also read and see. And that is why you need the Christocentric meal. This is a book that reveals to you who you are in Christ, what you have in Christ, and what Christ can do through you. This book interprets and breaks down the word into daily meals, making it easier for you to understand and study, build up and strengthen your inner man, all the while growing your relationship with God and your confidence as a believer. To order this life-changing book and other titles, DVDs and CDs by Dr. Abel Damina, call the number or email the address on the screen. Starting the new year with this book is your first step to guaranteeing an enriched life and new year.